Hey guys, my name is Venu and in this video, I'm going to show you guys my unboxing video of Evermedia Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus GC513 device. Actually, it's a capture card device which can be used for both live streams and recordings of anything that can be used as HDMI input. For example, it actually records any HDMI input signals, which means it can be used to record and stream things such as PC, Xbox, and other gaming consoles, even TV satellite setup box, and some mobile phones and DSLR cameras. This device actually converts those signals and transfers it to our PC while we are using the device that we are recording or live streaming in real time. It has a 4K pass through feature but it records them in 1080p quality, which means you can experience 4K gaming quality in real time but it will record and stream them in 1080p quality, which is ideal for live streaming because 1080p is the most well used format on the internet right now. It also has the audio input and microphone input to give them live commentary while recording or live streaming. And it also has the portable SD card port that can be used to record videos without the help of the computer. It also has the three modes. The first mode is for PC mode. It is needed if you are doing live stream and recording from PC. And the second mode is portable recording mode. It will record anything directly on the SD card with inbuilt video encoder. And the third mode is for the storage mode. You can access your SD card directly from your PC. So you don't have to remove your SD card every time you record something as portable. It also has the volume controller. You can adjust the volume using this button. And it also has the HDMI 2.0 input and output cable. You have to connect your CPU or gaming console input in this HDMI slot and then you have to connect its output HDMI slot to your monitor so that you can view your PC or gaming consoles. They are actually providing us with HDMI cable and data cable. The data cable which is used for giving power and transferring capture card signals. The quality of these cables are pretty much amazing but the only one thing I noticed is that the HDMI cable is, does look a little bit shorter. You have to give power source to this device using data cable. If you are recording something without the help of the computer then you may have to use power banks to give some power. But if you are using PC there is no need to give any extra powers. As the cable we connect to our PC will give enough power to this device. As I mentioned before it also has the SD card slot. That means you can connect your memory card here for the portable recording. I did encounter some connection issues which is just a misunderstanding. I made a video about that separately, but if you want to know about that, you can find that link in the description below. Always make sure if it's in the proper mode, because it won't be recognized by your PC if it's in the wrong mode. The time I bought this device, its value is 17k rupees in India. If you are interested in buying this product, I have given the link in the description below, so you guys can order it from there. I hope this helps you guys, feel free to like this video and share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you guys in the next video and bye.